Hello, boys and girls. It is Miss Carol here. I've come to tell you another story. <laughs> oh, I guess you know by now that Miss Carol loves to dress up and act like other people. Well, there's someone else that likes to dress up and get really fancy and tell dramatic stories. And that is somebody called Fancy Nancy. Maybe you've read some of Fancy Nancy's books. Hmm? Well, my friend Anna has a lot of Fancy Nancy books, and she lent me one so that I could read it on Storytime with Miss Carol. I hope you're going to enjoy this book. It's called Fancy Nancy and the Quest for the Unicorn. Mm -hmm. Fancy Nancy and the Quest for the Unicorn. Bree and I are absolutely obsessed with unicorns. That means that we're super duper interested in them. Unicorns are mythical creatures, which means they are not real. But they are almost real to us. Look at all those unicorns. <laughs> Today, we are playing Quest for the Unicorn. Quest is a fancy word for search. Please, please, can we play too? Freddie begs. Bree and I are both wonderful big sisters. So we let Freddie and Jojo join us. We all wait while my dad hides one of my toy unicorns in the backyard. Uh, don't make it too easy, I shout to him. Off we go on our quest. They're all dressed up in costumes. Ooh la la! We spot something glittery. Could it be the unicorn's tail? No. It's a hair clip I lost ages ago. Our quest is not over. Then I shout, look over yonder by the bush. Could it be a unicorn horn I spy? We all race over. Alas, it is just a twisted branch. So we all quest some more. And a little later, Bree clutches my arm. Hey, I see something and it's pure white. This must be the unicorn, but no. It's just Freddy's new toy bunny. We search high and low in the backyard. Jojo and Freddy are getting frustrated. That's fancy for fed up. We're tired of questing, Jojo says. Fine, I say. Go play by yourselves. Bree and I will continue the quest without you. Dad, um, I didn't want you to make the hiding place easy, but this is too daunting. That's fancy for difficult. 
Well, you know, I am not a unicorn expert like you, fair maidens, uh, my dad tells us. However, uh, I once heard that unicorns like lilacs. <gasps> lilacs! My mom planted a lilac bushes last spring. Voila! In the branches is a unicorn. Our quest is over. Now it is time for refreshments. We head to the clubhouse. Of course, Jojo and Freddy show up and want to join our tea party. Please, 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 Jojo pleads. Sorry, this is a questers only tea party, I inform her. We are nibbling cookies and sipping pink lemonade when my dad appears. Um, Jojo and Freddy are sorry that they were quitters, he says. Now, you girls are such incredible big sisters. Won't you reconsider letting them join you? It is true. Bree and I are wonderful big sisters. So we relent, which means we give in. A minute later, we are putting out more cookies and lemonade. And lo and behold, Jojo has a surprise. A tiny unicorn in her hand. They found it in the sandbox. I don't ever remember seeing that one, I tell them. You are both excellent questers after all. I told you unicorns are mythical. Maybe they're a bit magical too. The end. That was a fun book. I'm so glad my friend Anna lent it to me. The Quest for the Unicorn. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed today's story. And, you know, if you have a favorite book that you want Miss Carol to read, you can always take it to Miss Joanne and she will make sure that I get it. Well, I will see you next time on Storytime with Miss Carol. Bye!